Hello, chess family. It's me, National Master Jesse James, and today we're going over the top five Smith Moore Gambit traps. I'm very excited about this as I am a Smith Moore player from the white side, and well, I love to play the Smith Moore and crush my opponents. So let's go and take a look with our first one. Here we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite ones the Double Knight Checkmate. Here we go. E4, C5, D4, Smith Moore Gambit. Here we come. C takes pawn C3. Now we got the Smith Moore Gambit accepted. Some people, believe it or not, do not like free pawns. Well, I know I don't like them when I'm getting checkmate like this person will. Knight takes on C3. Knight C6. Knight F3. Pawn to D6. Bishop C4. The typical setup here for the Smith Moore minor pieces. And here, black makes a very typical mistake here and plays knight to f6 here, and already it's white to move and get into a better position. What do you play here? Hopefully you know this if you're a true Smith Moore Gamma player. Here you're going to go ahead and play pawn to e5, and this puts black's pieces in disarray. I mean, to not take here already gives white the advantage, so here, well, Pawn takes on e5, and now we have very good force variations here. We'll be taking a look at the next trap if they take with the knight. With that being said, what do you play here? Here we get to play queen takes on d8 checkmate, and here there's two choices. Typically, most people here are going to go ahead and play king takes on d8. Knight takes d8 gets played here, and now we get the double knight's checkmate idea. With that being said, what happens with whenever you play king takes whenever king takes happen here knight g5 gets played and now we got the same kind of ideas over here f7's hanging yeah white's just already in a very good position so what happens with knight takes on d8 here we get to play not knight takes e5 here but knight to b5 here and here the idea is very simple knight to c7 check here believe it or not the best move here is to play rook to b8 but you'd be surprised a lot of people fall for this and go ahead and play King to d7, and now it is checkmate in two. White to move. What do we do? Here we go ahead and play. Knight takes on e5 check. Notice the king cannot move to any of these squares with the minor pieces taking them all. So here the king must run back. And now, well, checkmate in one with knight to c7, check and mate. Like I said, this is definitely one of my favorites because I love knights. And, well, double knight checkmates are always very fun. All right, let's go on to the next one, Smith Moore Trap. This one is very similar to the last one. But as I said, this time we're going to be taking with the knight. So here we go. e4, c5. Pawn d4, pawn takes, c3, pawn takes, knight takes c3, accepted, uh, Smith Moore Gambit accepted, d6, bishop c4, knight f6, and here we go ahead and play pawn to e5. Now, this can also happen with the knight on c6, but well, this one's just a little bit easier because the knight never went to c6 here. Just remember this e5 move whenever they do play pawn to d6. All right, here we go. Here we have the move of D takes on e5 because, well, if you don't take again, white will just be in a better position. So pawn takes on e5, and it's white to move and win here. What do you do? Feel free to push pause if you want to. Here, the idea is to remove the defender. The king is the only thing defender the queen. Do you see it now? Here we have the exclam. Bishop takes on f7 check. Here the king is forced to go ahead and take on f7, which leaves the queen undefended. So after king takes, well, queen just takes on d8. All right, here we go to our next one, the undefended bishop. This one is actually in lots of different openings, so it might as well be in the Smith Moore. And it's all about a bishop to g4, unprotected bishop. Here we go, e4, c5, d4, pawn takes c3. Here we go again, Smith Moore gambit accepted. Knight takes on c3, knight to c6, knight to f3, d6, bishop c4. And here our opponent does not play the knight to f6. As we know, e5 is just going to be better in all variations. But this time they make a very basic mistake in play, bishop to g4. Now this will happen because people don't want you to be moving this knight. And they even have ideas with like knight to e5 over here too. With that being said, what do you play? Well, here we go ahead and play Un unprotected bishop. We're going to go ahead and play bishop takes on f7 check here. Uh-oh. What's the idea? Undefended bishop. Here the queen wants to take, but the knight's in the way. So we need a free tempo for it. I mean, it doesn't matter if the king takes or doesn't take. We want a free pawn either way. But if the king does take, here we go. Knight to g5 check. King back. And here we go. Queen takes on g4. Not only are we up a pawn, but we just have a beautiful position here. All right, on to our next one. Here we have a trap for black this time, a very typical trap, so hopefully you don't fall for it, the Siberian trap. And here it starts off with e4, c5, pawn d4, pawn takes c3, pawn takes, knight takes, and here we go, knight c6, 
knight f3, and e6. My recommendation, if you do play this from the black side, the e6 variations are the best. I'm not saying there's no traps against it, but in my opinion, this is definitely the way to refute this opening. I actually will do some videos about some of the refutation lines that I like to use when I play the black side. But I'm crazy, I play it from the white, and I play it from the black. Here we go, white goes and plays a typical setup. Bishop 2c4, knight 2f6, castles, and now the idea is going to be attacking this h2 pawn. So how do we do that? We start off with our first move of queen to c7. Queen goes to e2 here, and this sets up the trap knight to g4. Now here the idea is very simple. We want to play queen takes on h2 for checkmate. Well, there's a knight defending it, so simple chess, we need to go ahead and kick it away. You'd be surprised how many players, especially in the Masters level, have fallen for this trap. With that being said, well, here white goes ahead and plays pawn h3, and the trap has been sprung. The idea is to kick away the knight, and then, you know what, then I can just keep playing, right? Uh-oh, black to move and win. What do you play here? All right, hopefully you push pause, try to figure it out. What do you play here? Here we get to play... Knight to d4, and the timing is just perfect here. Here we get to attack the queen in check, and also knight takes f3 in check. There is just no good moves in this position. If you try to move your queen away, let's just say simple chess, go back to d1, checkmate in two, knight takes on f3, it doesn't matter how you take back, queen to h2 for check and mate. So, oof, what do you do here? Again, there's nothing good to do here. I guess the best thing you could do is probably just take on g4 here. We'll take... The queen, bishop takes, and well, you're just up an extra queen for two minor pieces with an easy winning position. All right, on to our next one. If you guys are enjoying this, feel free to go ahead and give us a like and subscribe, while I'll be doing more Smith Moore videos and just, well, learning in general. All right, our last one, and definitely one of my favorites, the typical knight to d5 sacrifice. Now, one of the rules I have is whenever you're playing the Smith Moore as white, if they play e6, knight d5 should be played at some point. Well, let's take a look and see how it is typical in this variation. e4, c5, pawn to d4, c takes, c3, pawn takes on c3, knight takes c3, smith Moore gamut accepted, knight c6, knight f3, d6 got played here, bishop c4, pawn to e6. Now, this setup I really don't like. Again, if you're going to do this, I prefer you just play e6. But when you see the e6 pawn getting played, definitely be thinking about knight to d5. Now, it's not the time right now. We're going to see one of the... One of the other key ideas, when we should sacrifice. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and play. Queen e2. Again, typical setup here. Pawn to a6. Another very typical move here. They'll play a6 because if the queen goes to c7, knight to b5 will be used to harass it. Castles. We need to get our pieces safe and get them into the game as soon as possible. Bringing in this rook. Queen to c7. Rook to d1. Pawn to b5. Bishop back to b3. Bishop b7. Bishop f4. You can see how beautiful these pieces are developed in just very natural squares. Knight to f6. And here we go. Rook a to c1. White has completed their development and each piece is just doing a great job here. Here already the ideas of knight to d5 are coming. Well, uh, black went ahead and played. Castles here and misses the idea. What do you play now? Hopefully you see it. It is now time for the knight to d5 sacrifice. Here we know it's time because the queen is aligned with the rook over here. And, well, the idea of knight to d5, well, look at this force move over here. You have to accept it. I mean, you can try to play something like, I don't know, what would you try here? Maybe queen to d7? If, d, if you go uh, d7 here, knight to b6 gets played, losing the exchange already. If you try something like, I don't know, queen over to b7, here we're going to play, oof, there's so many moves here. I'll, I'll just go with knight takes on e7. And uh, what is this? Knight takes on e7. Bishop takes on d6 with the idea of rook to c7. You can see white is just sprung to life here, and all the pieces are just so active. So after this, after knight to d5, there really is nothing better than just taking on d5. And after pawn takes on d5, here white is just a positional plus. You're going to be winning back the pawn, but also, well, look at these pieces. They're just so poorly placed. Sample line is something like bishop g4, and we can go ahead and play d takes on c6, and the rooks are doing a good job. Here the pawn is isolated. And, well, again, all the pieces are just perfect here for white. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. These were the top five sacrifices in the Smith-Moore gamut. Feel free to go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs>